Looking to create a pollinator paradise in your backyard? Stay tuned for advice on growing a milkweed garden to help protect monarch butterflies and other pollinators. My name is Robin Barker, and I'm a volunteer with the UC Master Gardener Program of Contra Costa County. Let's get started. Monarch butterflies face many challenges. The population has rebounded recently, but overwintering butterflies in California are still far fewer than in the 1980s. Part of the problem is the decline in milkweed plants in, in the spring and summer butterfly breeding areas. Milkweeds are the required host plants for monarch caterpillars and play a critical role in their life cycle. Not only are the plants nutritious, but alkaloids inside them are eaten up by the caterpillars and protect them by making them taste nasty and be toxic to predators. How can we help? Grow more regionally appropriate native milkweed. There are two in Contra Costa County, showy milkweed, Asclepias speciosa, or narrowleaf milkweed, Asclepias fascicularis. You can plant either one or plant both. Plant multiples in small clumps. Showy milkweed is a perennial plant with large leaves and pink to pinkish purple flowers. It can grow to be four to six feet tall and four feet wide. It makes a seed pod filled with many flat oval seeds with silky plumes that can float in the breeze. Narrow leaf milkweed is also a perennial, but with narrow leaves. They whirl around the stem. Flowers come in clusters of lavender or lavender tinted white. The pods are narrower with smaller seeds. Its size is also smaller, one and a half to three and a half feet tall and about a foot wide. This is tropical milkweed. Its sale, in fact, has been banned in Contra Costa County nurseries. Why ban it? It doesn't die back in winter, and may, which may confuse monarch behavior. And since it doesn't die back, it means that OE can overwinter and build up. What is OE? Ophryocystis electroscira is a parasite spread by monarch butterflies. A monarch butterfly infected with OE may not be able to emerge from its chrysalis or may emerge with wings it cannot extend and flatten. Milkweed plants that die back don't allow this parasite to build up. Not all scientists agree about the negative impact of tropical milkweed. The bottom line, for a new garden, plant only native milkweed plants. If you already have tropical milkweed, you don't have to pull it up, but do cut it back to six inches from the ground in the fall and nip off seed pods as they develop. To entice adult monarch butterflies to lay eggs in your milkweed garden, add plants that will flower and provide nectar during the growing season. You can find links to lists of candidates in the description of this talk. Purchase native milkweed plants in the spring or late summer. They grow dormant and die back in the winter. You can find native milkweed plants at many local native plant nurseries. Again, look at the description under this video for links to source milkweed and other native plants. Plant your plants once the danger of frost is passed. Milkweed prefers well-drained soil, but will tolerate the heavier clay soils found in Contra Costa County. Prepare your bed, though, by loosening the soil. You don't need to add any amendments. In our region, these native milkweeds are low water plants that, will, that are adapted to live through our dry summers. Mature milkweeds can rely on normal winter rainfall, but until mature, they do need supplemental water. Put mulch around the base of the plants to retain soil moisture and keep the plants cool. Gather milkweed seeds in the fall when the pods mature before the seeds can float away in the wind. Break pods open on the seams where they have started to brown. Separate the silky fibers from the seeds. Don't pick seeds where you see milkweed bugs as they ruin them. Showy milkweed seeds benefit from chilling. 
it helps to break the seed's dormancy. Eight weeks before planting, put seeds between damp paper towels into a sealed container and pop them into the fridge. Label the container. All milkweed seeds need an overnight soak before planting. You can start seeds inside. Cover lightly with soil, keeping it moist but not soaking. Transplant them outside when they're three to six inches tall. Seeds can be planted outside in the fall or in the spring after the last frost by raking soil, casting seed, and then raking again. Showy milkweed can be planted from rhizomes. A rhizome is a modified stem that travels underground to create new plants. Dig up the rhizomes when the plant is dormant. Cut into pieces with at least one bud and plant them in the ground in mid-March. Our native showy and narrow-leaf milkweed are lower in toxicity than other varieties, but damaged milkweeds do give off a sticky white sap that can irritate skin and eyes. Protect yourself by wearing gloves and washing hands. Protect any caterpillars from disturbance by curious butterfly lovers by fencing your garden. This will also help if caterpillars drop out of the plants and travel to other plants to form their chrysalis. And watch where you walk around the plants so you don't step on them. Milkweed plants can be attacked by oleander aphids. They produce a honeydew that can attract a black fungus called sooty mold that makes it more difficult for leaves to photosynthesize. You can mist them off with water, but only do this before butterflies have started to visit and lay eggs. Good luck with your milkweed garden. If you have any gardening problems or questions and you live in Contra Costa County, please feel free to email us. Thank you for listening.